value decomposition, I'm just going to go straight to three clusters. And I'm going to do it based on the, on the orthos here in the space. So I said, I'm going to first split on the x coordinate, and then I'm going to split on the y coordinate within these clusters. Right? So what happened here? I had, I had the first cluster, like I had before, with A, B, C, and D in one, and E, F, G, H in the other. And then the next step down, I split H from E, F, and G. That's this split, which is, which, which is a really good cut. And then here, I've split C from B, A, and B. I've done, I've done this split here. So this one seems pretty obvious. This seems like definitely the right cut to do. Why is this the right cut to do down here, if you had to make a cut? Yeah, right. So if I included D, this has edges to everything else in the set. C and B are the only ones that don't have edges to everything else. And C has this extra dangling edge here that, that I also, you know, I, I don't want to associate these. So these, this subset is cleaner than A, C, and D. So that's why it's a, it's a little bit better cut. Now this, this is not always going to work. You're not always going to get the, the best cut just by looking at the positive and the negative value. You know, again, you may want to sort these based on these values and then look, scan, and take the best normalized cut value you can in this subset. Um, but in, in many cases, it's a good first approximation. Um, so this, so this is, is another approach you can use. Um, and then, um, let's see, and then finally the cool thing is, so, so, so as you're pointing out, one of one of the techniques you can do is you can go from a graph and then do an embedding and then use either the, the, the bottom-up clustering we talked about or the assignment-based clustering. But you can also say, let's say I just have some, some data, some data points, and I have a, um, a function. I don't have a distance, uh, um, but I've got a similarity function between uh, these items. Right, so, so, the, um, so if I've got the similarity, that's, the similarity is kind of like this edge, this edge relationship. Now, these edges are a very strong sort of similarity, where it's one if they have an edge connected, and they're similar, and zero if they don't have an edge. Right, but, but if I could have any, any function, so instead of zero, one here, I could have a value between zero and one for every entry in this graph. And the similarity function, if it's still symmetric, this graph, this uh, matrix will still be symmetric. Right? So I can fill in the similarity score between objects in this, in this matrix. Then I can still create this D matrix, this degree matrix, by looking at the property of, of adding up all these values. I, I may want to set the, the self-similarities to sub zero. And then I add up all of these values here, and I give this as, as the value of this degree, I still do the Laplacian is d minus a. I still have this Laplacian. I can then, you know, still take the eigenvalue of it, and I still, and then I can still use this, this Fiedler vector to try and find this, uh, this notion of separation. So, and, and splitting on zero may still give me a good cut. So if you just have, have, a, have a similarity, this is, this is one way of doing doing clustering based on that similarity. You can also do. so this is more general than, than just the notion of graph. You could also you could also say put weights on the edges instead of being one or zero. You have if you have they're more connected, you have a stronger a larger weight with them, and that will also go through this whole process. So there's kind of lots of ways you can you can play with this, right? Um, so, so we'll talk about relation to the, um, the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors with the um, with the uh, with the principal components, which are very similar, I guess, in probably about two weeks or so, depending on when spring break is. I think I think that's before spring break, um, and that's another way of looking at. Uh, it's instead of thinking of graph data, you often be thinking of 
spatial data, you have something like a distance or a similarity between them. Um, and this will be related, related another way of looking at this graph structure, uh, or excuse me, this matrix structure to look at uh, some, some structure. So great. So remember the data collection report is due next week on Monday.